What's up, Cradle fans? Uh, sorry if you're used to seeing Banff and you got remixed today, but uh, I finally have some time to record a video um, for the status of the Unreal Engine project. And um, what you're looking at right now uh, actually isn't Unreal Engine. Um, it's a program called World Creator, which is used for uh, terrain generation, uh, procedural terrain generation. Uh, it's a really, really cool tool um, if you're into game development or um, 3D at all. I uh, highly recommend picking up World Creator. It's kind of expensive, but um, definitely a must-have in uh, a 3D creation arsenal, uh, in my opinion. So anyway, um, what you're looking at is uh, several uh, weeks worth of uh, work and redos and and whatnot but this is um, what I've got for Sacred Valley right now and I did post a screenshot on reddit but here in the video I'm going to take you guys on a tour uh, it won't be too long but I want to uh, you know get go close up and um, and just show you some stuff that I uh, have worked on and I'm still working on so uh, this is actually I think the third um, iteration of this landscape that I've uh, created I've started over a couple of times just because I wanted to I wanted to get it right and every time I reread the book I I pick up on some detail that I missed before uh, one example was actually that I thought that the mountain peaks the four peaks were on the rim of the mountain uh, range like there's a bowl and it was created by these peaks but it seems like it's kind of like that but based on um, when I read the series again uh, when they leave uh, from the Heaven's Glory School to go to the uh, Desolate Wilds, which is this, this is nothing right now. It's just random terrain. Um, so it's not supposed to be anything yet. But eventually the Desolate Wilds and stuff will be over here if I, uh, if we get that far. I'm not sure how much further I want to go. I mean, I want to go and get the entire universe mapped out, but, you know, free time is a thing. So anyway, I'm digressing. So uh, what we have here... Um, is, uh, it looks like snow from far away, but it's actually like a rocky kind of texture that just looks like snow. Um, but it will eventually be snow, but this is, uh, Samara. Um, and behind Samara, there's like quite a bit of room for stuff other than a school. It's kind of like a, a mid peak kind of thing, because one of the issues I was having, um, in Unreal Engine is... It doesn't make sense for there to be snow on one mountain and then like grass and water on another if they're the same height. Um, and obviously Samara is the tallest mountain, so I thought maybe at the peak uh, level of the other mountains, this is Great Father by the way, um, at the peak of the mountains, that's where the snow line should kind of start um, for Samara. And uh, it seemed to work out pretty well. So now, like, there's a comment on the. Um, in the description of Cradle, uh, the first book, Unsold, sorry, um, that says uh, that it's blanketed in snow, and having something being blanketed in snow, uh, that's what I kind of imagine is like you kind of have like an even like kind of snowdrift layer uh, at the top of the mountain where it's basically winter all the time um, just because of how dang tall uh, the mountain is. And it's kind of hard to get a good, good idea of the scale of what we're looking at here. But I'll say that we're pretty much at the upper limit of what Unreal Engine can even handle. Uh, and this is that's just for Sacred Valley. Um, it's huge. Um, there's a video where um, Banffius uh, actually tries to explore uh, a little bit of Yoma Mountain, which is right here. Um, and that's in a much earlier iteration of this. These mountains are actually quite a little bit bigger than, than in that video. But... Um, I think he starts out around he sta he starts out standing right here uh pretty much and he you can see venture uh off in the background in the video and then you can also see great father in the background um and that'll give you an idea of how big this actually is so there's a, supposed to be a way to drop a human in here but i haven't figured out how to do it um but these things it, are absolutely massive and that's kind of one of the reasons why i'm having trouble is creating things that are that huge and having them look normal, quote unquote, like with regular terrain, is really hard. 
um, at least for me. I, I'm not an experienced game developer or anything like that. I'm a software engineer, but um, dealing with 3D stuff and creating art, I'm pretty weak at. Um, and I'm having a lot of fun, but it is a challenge for me to uh, to do all of this correctly. So anyway, um, so like I said, the 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 current um, the current thing that I'm working on is making sure all the terrain and all the uh, landmarks and stuff that you hear about in the book or read about in the book are there. So, um, so if you look here, uh, Lyndon makes a comment about how the walls are kind of sheer uh, when you get to the edge of um, Samara. So let's just imagine for a second that we're a human standing right here. You can see that it's kind of insane, the, the, the slope of this mountain, right? Um, so that's kind of the idea that I had there was that it's almost like a cliff because it's so steep uh, when you get to uh, to Yoma. Uh, not Yoma, I'm sorry, Samara. So like if we go to another mountain, um, see that it's still pretty it's still pretty sheer. So like I said, I still, I still have to work on it, but it's supposed to be a lot more gradual. Like we're like on the ground here, right, too. So let me try to get like six feet off the ground or something so it's not so drastic, but... Um, yeah, the idea is uh, to try to um, match as many details from the book as I can. So we this can be used almost as a reference um, for uh, other creators or just people that want to dive into the universe a little bit he more heavily than just reading the books themselves. Um, it's kind of uh, one of the things that I like to do uh, when I get obsessed with a, a book series, because let's be frank, it is an obsession at this point. And um, I, uh, I don't like not being able to explore the world. I'm, it's really hard for me to process things uh, by reading them and understanding fully uh, what it looks like in my head. And uh, I kind of like being able to just hop into Sacred Valley and like see just how ridiculous like the scale of that world is um, and how uh, Lyndon might have, uh, you know, physically uh, gone through his journey. So... Yeah. So anyway, let's get back to the tour. So we're here on Yoma Mountain. We'll go to the top. We'll go to the, each of the peaks. Um, so Yoma is a lot less rocky. It's supposed to be anyway. It's still got more rocks than I want it to, but it's supposed to be a forest uh, covered mountain, like literally carpeted, I think is what the, the term was. So I've gotten, I've given it a lot more flat space, especially behind it. These are just random peaks that are mentioned in the book, actually, that there's other mountains behind the other, the, the main four peaks. Um, so I have areas, this entire area will be trees when I'm, uh, when I have it loaded up into the engine and I have a chance to make trees, uh, correctly. Um, so you, you may not even be able to see the peak because if you're standing right here, because this is just going to be a giant forest, um, when I'm done with it. So then we have, um, another issue that I'm running into is when do I start the transition from, uh, Samara to, not Samara, I'm sorry, Yoma to, uh, venture because venture is supposed to be like a sandstone mining kind of area right and um having a forest right next to a uh basically a desert area because uh, if you have sandstone it's generally kind of like utah like a like i'm imagining like salt lake city or uh the grand canyon or uh you know something that's a lot more arid than um than say the climate that's conducive to a giant forest so um, it's going to transition. Uh, so as you can see, it kind of like the colors kind of start fading um, a little bit here. And then it look this is the most unnatural looking part of Cradle because there's two uh, things. Uh, I say Cradle, but I mean Sacred Valley, sorry. Um, there's two things that I wanted to mention here, though. Um, the first being uh, Venture looks a lot less natural because uh it's mentioned that almost like a, a something like a dread god or something i can't remember now specifically uh crushed it uh with its hand or something like it looks like it was crushed by its hand or something so i kind of made it look like a palm shape right here a little bit um and then you have like areas that are likely to have been mined at some point i'll probably put a cave or some sort of easter egg in here that's not mentioned in the book but something that might be there if you were to be mining something right um and then also like uh, yet again uh it's got these crater things i'm not sure if i'm going to keep these in or not but i was just thinking that if 
uh, Sacred Valley is being mined by people that are like iron. They're a lot more physically capable than probably even some of the machines that we have in modern times. So they probably got through a good portion of the rock pretty quickly, I would I would think, to get to the, the winter steel, I think, that it is in there, or the high steel. I can't, I can't remember. This is what Banff is for, is because I'm really bad at remembering some of these things. But uh, whatever metal and uh, stuff that they're mining in here, um, it's uh, probably gotten to pretty quickly. So I have like all these craters like where maybe they had already mined everything out and it's kind of barren. Uh, and then you have the areas that are like more currently being mined and stuff. And then you have, you know, cliff faces and stuff that are pretty, um, I would say, pretty normal uh, when you have like sandstone and stuff. Uh, you don't really have a lot of... Uh, crazy huge mountainous peaks and stuff like that you have more uh bumps and uh like i said more like deserty kind of terrain so venture is probably what i put the most time into and it seems like it's the least incomplete to me or at least complete not least incomplete uh venture i feel like it's the hardest one to get right um so i'm still working on it but yeah let me know what you think about it or if you have any tips or uh ideas uh for venture or anything uh definitely let me know in the comments. Okay, so let's move on. Uh, Great Father, um, this one is pretty straightforward. The only issue I have is um, putting a pool at the top of it. So for one, there's supposed to be a storm pretty much per perpetually over Great Father. Uh, an isolated storm, even when you have terrain that of that magnitude, it's kind of hard to prevent it from being over the entire valley um at least as far as accurate simulations go so i'm having to um create that manually uh and i do have some storms and stuff that i'm not quite ready to show yet because it's a mess like trying to uh to get everything that i've uh tested out into one video so that's why i'm only showing like the uh the terrain overview and world creator right now uh what i have in unreal engine is uh it changes every day so it's almost not worth really showing but a lot of this stuff is set in stone, or at least uh, isn't likely to change as much. So anyway, so we have Great Father here. Uh, right here, I plan on having the river kind of come off. If you see that this little this little white area is what I anticipate the Dragon River to be. Um, if you can, uh, I'm following it with my mouse. Hopefully, you can see that. That's going to be Dragon River. Um, so I'm going to put like maybe some. A couple of like small waterfalls and like some streams and stuff like that do it like an accurate water simulation and then uh putting a pool up here uh, i'm just going to do in the unreal engine terrain creator um, i'm just going to literally put a circle <laughs> right here and then dig a hole literally and then maybe put some more somewhere else and then put paths it seems like great father from the book uh anyway it might be the most well explored mountain other than venture uh so it's it seems to be like a place that uh, jades go quite often. Um, so, um, yeah, Great Father has uh, got a lot of detail that I need to put into it. But, but yeah, so uh, it's also a lot more slopey than the other mountains. Um, just because if it's got water running off of it, there's probably going to be a lot more smooth areas uh, and stuff. So, uh, and as you can see, if you see anything like dark green... Uh, like this that's where i anticipate like putting like a lot of trees so like samara is mostly dark green uh and then the yellow is kind of like you know grass or mud stuff like that um it's kind of my own way of like keeping track of where i should be putting things uh on top of looking you don't want it to rain that all be the same color or it won't look that realistic so yeah uh so let's move on um here we have um I already showed a little bit of uh, uh, Samara. Um, so Samara, there's a couple of other issues that I'm having. Um, so one is making the, uh, like I said, the snowfall, making that look natural, having that entire area covered in snow, and having no snow everywhere else uh, feels weird. So making it feel not weird, that's a, that's a challenge. Right here I'm thinking about putting a waterfall. Um, that would be fed by the uh, the snow melting as it uh, might in a, a real uh, mountain setting. Um, I'm using a lot of realistic references to try to to make it seem more natural. So if I like had a waterfall here that also kind of fed the Dragon River, um, that would be interesting. Uh, 
Uh, and then back here, uh, we'll have, you know, the ancestor's tomb somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where it's supposed to be in the book. So I haven't decided where I'm going to put the ancestor's tomb yet. But um, I believe it's uh, kind of close to the top. And I know that there's a lot of snow, uh, like where Yaren and stuff was training. So, yeah. And this is just the basic terrain. So, like, I'm going to be adding more um, topography that's uh, meant to be... Uh, a landmark for something some big event that happened in the book like where Lyndon met Yaren um and they fought off the uh the other irons you know and he used the banners to um to trick the uh I can't remember Amon I think uh no it wasn't Amon I can't remember his name but you know the iron that Lyndon killed um with using the banners and then um and then back here you'll see I'm definitely going to put Elder Whisper's tower somewhere around here um and this is where kind of where Lyndon probably ended up walking because he no he no made a note of the how sheer everything was. So like I wanted to put like a transitionary point, like maybe right here because there's supposed to be an easier path. So I thought maybe that this would be the path, and then the the Heaven's Glory steps or whatever would maybe be somewhere over here, the the little challenge that he uh, pretended to do. Um, yeah, so. Yeah, I think that about covers it for now. I'm ho hopefully you got a good idea of where the project is at, but um, but yeah, that's a kind of a, a 3D overview of Sacred Valley uh, and its current state. Um, lots more to come, and uh, if you do want to help in any way other than um, leaving comments with feedback, um, be sure to reach out on discord um i'll leave a link in the description to the community discord for uh the podcast as well as uh this project they're both the same discord so if you have uh, any suggestions feel free to drop them there or just drop me a message or whatever um i don't bite so yeah hope you enjoyed talk to y'all later